Muskoka everything. Muskoka shirt, Muskoka water bottle. <laughs> We're ready. Are you from Muskoka? No. You just really like your clothes and the name. Yeah. Okay, guys, we have officially left. We are on our way, kind of. We're going out for breakfast first. But it is 8.08, .08, so we're making good time. That's a record. We said we're going to be out at 9. <laughs> yeah, that is a record. But with one hour of breakfast or 30 minutes of breakfast, I think we'll be out kind of around when we thought. Um, yeah, it's going to be so exciting. We're going to the race venue today. 1,800 people. <sighs> it's going to be busy. It's going to be the biggest one that either of us have done. Um, our ETA is I'm not sure the exact time, but it's going to take about two hours and 30 minutes to get there. Uh, we don't really have a set plan yet. We're not sure if we're going to go to the race venue or our hotel room first, but I think we're going to go to the hotel so Spencer can do his bike because he really wants to do a bike. And then we're going to go to the race venue, drop all of our stuff off, register, and then we are meeting Chris and Christine, our friends, uh, later tonight for dinner. And we're probably also going to do a little swim with Chris in the lake before we go. We were talking at breakfast today about um, how pro athletes must feel the night before a race or the day before a race. Just knowing the amount of suffering you're about to endure and the difficulty level of it but we're excited to race against more people because we've been going to these small races and my age group has had like one other person in it so it's going to be really fun having a larger age group more people to race against more people on the course um, and yeah we're just really really excited and grateful that we can get time off work to go and do these races uh, so yeah shift work has some benefits in Port Sydney, which is 20 minutes from Huntsville. And we're gonna go take the bikes out on this road back here. All right, so did some tweaks yesterday, just before uh, I put my bike away last night. Saddle, post went up a little bit. Got a new saddle, physics something. And uh, feeling good. We're just out right now doing a test ride. Um, just waiting on Aaron, but I feel good. I feel strong. I feel like more weight is in my elbows as well on the on the pads in the front cockpit. And uh, holding over 230 watts, easy. So goes to show you, a little bit of tweaks makes a world of difference.
just checked in to Three Pines Lodge. It's actually super nice. One of the nicest places we've stayed uh, the day before a race. But anyways, we are on our way to the race venue. We are gonna go check in. It seems like most people are already checked in, so hopefully we can get parking and it's not too busy. I might be jinxing myself here, but yeah. And then we are gonna... Go to Boston Pizza, get some pizza. Go to buy some pizza, get some pizza. They aren't doing reservations, so it's walk-in, and I really hope that it's not super busy, but I guess we will see. Alright, so we're now at bike check-in, gonna go drop our bike off. Just a piece of advice, if you're leaving your bike overnight somewhere and it's on a diagonal, take the air out of your tires so you don't have an issue in the morning with your tube. That's if you're tubeless, or not tubeless. We are here, super pumped. Tonight's gonna be a hard night to sleep, that's for sure. A lot of bikes, 1,800 people here, nuts. Gotta get our registration stuff first before we could bring our bikes and check in. Sitting here waiting the whole time. No, I literally just just racked my bike. Just oh, got here. Come on. Chris has made it. On time. Here I am. Hello. Hello. How are you? Woo. Oh no, I'm racing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> These, I have so I just grabbed the first on bike. Yeah, we were just grabbing we, the same. We went. Went. Is that the beer? The beer strap? What's that? The yeah, the beer strap. Well, I'm not if. All the Finland spots are gone. All right. All right, team, we got our stuff. Now we go to the exit. Yeah, let's go check out the expo. Uh, Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older. So let us dance this side away. Oh, 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 Our bodies move to the groove and the light the flickers. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Till the earth and dinner. Standing in a blurry dream. No one else can. If anyone wants a great marketing technique to sell your tri bike, just sell it at the race in the middle of transition so these transitions are going to be super long we got like what 300 meters from the swim to our actual bike so i'm all the way at the very back uh aaron's back further than me because chris is old he's an old fire he's up close to so this year they changed the uh swim 
entrance. Uh, so once we're done, we came up this little path here. But now it's way up here and around the corner that we have to run all the way down and then all the way up in transition. And like that's gonna take us so long. That's like a, well not a kilometer, but pretty close. Swim at your own risk. Nothing like a good hill to spike your heart rate. That's right. <laughs> Swim tutorial from Chris. Okay, just finished our swim. Yeah. I'm faster than a wetsuit. He's faster than a wetsuit somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> Look at those toenails. So my bike is like somewhere over here and I have to travel all the way down there from the swim to get to my bike. That's like almost, a, I don't know, 500 meters over here. It's gonna be a mission, literally a mission. Like there's about 20 bikes in my stand. So there's probably about 20 people in my age group, which is exciting. Aaron finally has competition for once. <laughs> okay, game plan guys. We are at Boston Pizza to carb load. Out that we had to wait a little bit. Pizza. Free race pizza. Spencer goes, this will be a nice snack for later. <laughs> what, what was it that I said earlier? It's seven o'clock at night. Yeah, you gotta get <laughs> before the race. Get... So Spencer decides to get a giant jug of water. <laughs> You gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, hydrate. And we're never are gonna get a leg cramp again. So far from the car, so now he has to carry this for like 3K. <laughs> the trick is you gotta drink it and it gets lighter. <laughs> so he was just drinking the water in the middle of the parking lot. Oh man. Tomorrow is <sighs> We made it. We are here, we are in bed, and the day has come to an end. And we are, what time is it right now? It's 8.30. I'd say the goal is to get to bed by like 9.30 or just as early as possible. Um, we're basically all packed up and ready to go. No stress. I feel like I'm less stressed this time around, but it's crazy because when we were leaving, Transition had almost been closed. And so all of the bikes were in and there are so many bikes in Transition and it kind of just, makes you realize how many people are actually gonna be racing tomorrow. Um, yeah, but how are you feeling? I didn't get my race chip. So Spencer forgot to get his, <laughs> his racing chip, um, his ankle strap or whatever it's called. Um, he completely missed that table. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go there in the morning. It should only take a couple of seconds to, to get the chip. But it's just funny because there's always something. Like no matter how many races you do, how experienced you are, I feel like there's always something that's gonna come up. Especially if it's Spencer. <laughs> so yeah, what are you doing right now? I have to go get my bag. Oh, he has to go back to the car and get his bag. But I'm just gonna chill here because all my stuff's ready. And we're probably just gonna watch some Netflix and I am feeling really, really tired after today. Um, Lots of walking, lots of sun, and excitement for tomorrow.